In the first video, there are less than 2% healthy blood cells. They all have multiple unhealthy characteristics, such as target cells, which look like donuts. What causes target cells is having failed to incorporate correct levels of hemoglobin, the iron-containing protein that carries oxygen and energy. The platelets also have characteristic clumping together, indicating a high presence of undigested fat in the blood, which is commonly known as thrombocyte aggregation. In addition, there is a high percentage of cell membrane irregularity, as well as not being the correct size, which is 7.2 to 7.5 microns in diameter. But one of the scariest things is that there are even platelets that have spiny projections on the outer surface of the membrane, which indicates the possibility of excessive free radical activity. However, the most notable in the first sample is the absence of all but one neutrophil, the major immune system cells. I don't think you have to be an expert to see that there's a major difference. Imagine my surprise when I saw this. The platelets are considerably larger. They have the proper size and shape, as well as not being stuck together, and the free radical damage seems to be gone. Previously, there were only 2% of all platelets that were healthy before drinking noni juice, and there are about 2% that are not perfectly healthy after drinking noni juice for three weeks. The most encouraging observation to me was that you can see a dramatic increase in the number of neutrophils, the major immune system cells in the body. I also thought it was very intriguing to actually see a neutrophil at work. Here you see a clear picture of a neutrophil absorbing a uric acid crystal.